All right, guys, uh, I have a little bit of explaining to do with this episode. Um, what you'll notice is that the uh, the audio quality is pretty poor, to say the least, and that's because I'm a complete idiot, 100% idiot, and instead of plugging in our mixer, I plugged in the microphone that was sitting, the, the USB microphone that was sitting across the table from us. So that's what was recording us the whole time. Um, which is why this, this the audio on this just does not sound good. I apologize very much. I will do better. I will be better for you guys. Um, it's still a pretty funny episode, so, though. So, so we wanted to upload it. The thing is, we had some, we had a soundboard. I made like a I'm gay soundboard that was I thought was funny, and we were using it, and it's really funny. But all that shit went through the mixer, so you can't really hear that. So every time you hear kind of like a blank space, it's us actually listening to that in our headphones. So it's all fucked, basically. It's all just fucked. And I apologize. It's my bad. And uh, the the good thing is is that next week you'll get two episodes. We're going to do a bonus one next week for the Patreon people. So um, if you're listening to this on iTunes for free, then, well, I guess you just got to fucking deal with it. And uh, and uh, if you're on Patreon, then you'll you'll get a bonus episode next week. And, and we'll talk about this little goof because... Um, you know, this is just really not the thing you want to happen three episodes into an, a brand new show. But me, being a fucking dumbass, it happened. And I apologize. And uh, you don't deserve this. And I love you and enjoy the episode. I don't, do I love you? I'm, well, I don't know. Enjoy the episode, please. Thanks. Bye. I want to start this episode uh, by just talking about the fact that we can now refer to ourselves as chart toppers, CT, AKA. Boom. Um, because I don't know if you've seen the podcast charts, but Tiny Meat Gang Podcast. Is in the top 11. Yes. It's in the top 11 which podcast. Is, it's actually 11. <laughs> which is huge, you know? Yeah. Top 11 is a range that <laughs> most people shoot for. There's no fucking weird it would be if I was like, we're top 11 and we were number 7 or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why still, would you just say? Still, top 11. Yeah. Which is huge, right? It is. I got a little air horn sound effect queued up here. I'm gay. God oh, damn it. it does. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. If anyone didn't catch that, Cody is in fact gay. I'm not. I'm not. That was supposed to be an Air Force. Uh, air one. Form? This it was supposed to be this one. I'm gay. God yeah. damn it. <laughs> over and over. Over and over. <laughs> no, but for real. Tiny Meat Gang Podcast, now on iTunes. The first episode is up right now, and the second one will be up tomorrow when we post this one. Yes. And it's number 11 on the comedy charts, which actually isn't that big of a deal, but it looks really cool. It does look really cool. Because the way that the charts work, it's like, it's just like... I think what it is is the amount of subscribers you're gaining compared to how many you had like yesterday or whatever. It's like, it. the, it's like the momentum or the, the velocity, I should say, of sure. subscribers based on like the change in velocity, I think, is what it's based on. So like any brand new podcast that already has even a little bit of a fan base, if they get 100 subscribers in an hour, it'll pop right up to the fucking top. Top 11. But it looks really good. For flexing on your yeah. Instagram audience. Oh, so it works really well for that. Super. Yeah. And people are like, wow, congratulations. And <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I know. I'm taking, taking over. What can I say? What can I say? Top 11 podcasts right here. So, CT. Um, big shout out to uh, all the little riblets out there. Yeah, big shout out. Me- um, meatheads. Meatheads? Meatheads. I kind of like that. I like meatheads too. Yeah. Yeah. It's an easy one. Yeah. Um, shout out to the meatheads getting us up in the top 11 there. Hamburger Helper. Shout out to all you little (laughs) hamburger helpers out there. That actually kind of works. Shout out to all you little hamburger helpers helping (laughs) us climb the charts. Top 11. CT, baby. Chart toppers. I'm gay. Damn it. (laughs) CT, not to be confused with CTE. I got to fix that. What's CTE? Um, I don't know. Calligraphy. Calligraphy. Talent. Uh, Extreme. Extreme. Yeah. No. (laughs) Could you just scoot in a little bit? Cock tits. Cock there we go. Am I good now? Yeah, you're, you're good. Oh, we're in the frame. I can see myself. God yeah. damn. Before you were a little out. Looking good today besides the... Uh... Yeah. Should we talk about that? Should we address the sty in the room? <laughs> the sty in the room. So who'd you fight, man? I, I wish it looked like I fought someone. It doesn't. It doesn't look like that at all. Mm-mm. At all. Yeah. Because I think I think if it looks like that, people don't ask you what's wrong with your eye. Yeah. They just kind of assume that you got in a fight yeah. or that you hit... Your yeah. eye or something, right? This looks like there's I have like a disease or something. Yeah, it's bad. Stop looking at it, dude. I can't. Stop looking at it. That's terrible. I, I know. Like, I almost like did this one with an eye patch, and I was like, so I was, uh, you know, <laughs> Halloween's over, but whatever. I'm a pirate edition. So I've had I've had two yar styles. yar <laughs> yar yar. Like, no, just get it out. Yar. I, I have just, AIDS on my eye. 
Yeah, AIDS. 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 I actually got tested today for HIV. Came oh. back negative, baby. Ooh, there's a win. Woo! So, um, but the chick, the, the nurse was like, what the fuck is wrong with your eye? <laughs> I mean, she didn't say it like that, but she was like, what's wrong with your eye? Which is, that's what I was saying, is I don't think that if you have a black eye, <laughs> she's like, you want nobody, to nobody, too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can stick a little, get a sample yeah, from that we thing. Should, we should, we should look at that. That's weird. It looks like eyes. Yeah. Did he, did you, did you tell him in here and he, he came up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. The worst, I mean, the, the worst part about this shit is that the, the remedy is, um, or the way you're supposed to treat it is by um, using a warm compress. Yep. That's what everyone says. Warm compress. It's disgusting. No, it's not. What, what's disgusting about that? It's just like, you, you just like have to wet it, and then you have to sit, and then the wet gets all over your fucking face, and you have to just keep re-wetting this towel or whatever it is. I don't know, man. It's just... That's what I did the first night. Kelsey warmed up a tea bag, yeah. and, and I was putting it on my eye and just leaking green tea yeah. into my tear duct. And I was like, this can't be. Even though I know, like, I don't know, like, monks eat green, like, yeah. eat full green tea bags probably to, like, <laughs> for, like, homeopathic remedies or something, you know? I think that's just white people in Venice. Or <laughs> white yoga moms in Venice eat green tea bags. They just crack that open like a bag of Lay's at the fucking line for whatever. Like, no, I don't eat food anymore. I just eat this. They order that. They they pay for it. <laughs> Can you get the bag out of creation? The water? Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna munch on some tea bags. They munch on them. And they don't even swallow them. <laughs> they just chew on it. Spit them out. Yeah. Really yeah, good it's for all your the nutrients. Really, really good for your immune system <laughs> and your metabolism. <laughs> um, no, but I was like, I was lying there and just this tea leaking into my face, and I'm like, I don't know if this is like healthy. I think this is just gonna make shit worse. And so I we posted a podcast, and I had this fucked up eye. And uh, someone was like, you know, one of the YouTube doctors. Yeah. In, in, oh, classic. And one of my subscribers was like, all you got to do is put uh, rice in a sock and then put it in the microwave. No, I was like, that's fucking genius. And I did it and it was amazing. Oh, okay. No liquid. Oh, yeah. It's just like a warm, beautiful thing. And I, I just sat that shit on my eye last night. Clearly did nothing. Yeah. It's twice as big today. Yeah. Yeah. I just want this fucking thing to go away. Yeah. I've had two. Actually, one was a cyst. I had to get it lanced out. Really? Yeah. That's what my friend, my friend had to get that to Q. Oh. He had two on both eyes. Or no, sorry, one on each eye. Mm. So he had two at the same time. And That's I remember awesome. I saw him like a couple days before he got them removed. And it's just like. Yeah. The worst part about it is that people are looking at it. Yep. But you can't, you just look like people are looking in your eyes. Yep. So you're like, ah, you know what I mean? You don't need to zit and someone's looking at it. Yeah. And you kind of know that it's bad because people are, you know, they're, they're looking at your forehead as they're talking to you. You know what I mean? Or maybe, you yeah, don't know. Yeah. I have perfect skin, so I've never experienced that. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Well, for those of us uh, <laughs> without kidding. fucking half ethnic, whatever are you? Whatever the fuck. Um, whatever the fuck. I'm mixed with things. Whatever. Just something that doesn't get acne. <laughs> for the rest of us, growing up normally, that's a thing. People look at your forehead or whatever. And, yeah. But this, people are looking at, you know, they're looking at my eye. They're looking at my right eye, but yeah. you can't really tell. It, it's bad, dude. The worst part about it is it feels like someone put, um, it feels like someone put a tennis ball in some foreskin and then just stapled it to yeah. the top of my eyelid because it's just hanging. I was gonna it's say heavy. The horrible part about a sty, yours is fucking awful. <laughs> first of all, mine were not that bad. Even even my cyst one was not that bad. It was just like a hard knuckle at the bottom of my eye. I think I told you this, but the doctor. Almost, he was trying to convince me to just keep it. He didn't want to take it out. He was like such a bro about it, like in a bad way. This dude was like close to 50, was like, I mean, it's not that bad, man. I'm like, no, I don't want to fucking just knuckle on my eye for the rest of existence. He was like, all right, I guess I got to lance it out. <laughs> and he like, like put, sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, to interrupt your fucking man. Wednesday. Yeah, and mind you, this guy's optometry place, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Looked like a fucking Scientology center. It was balling. Okay, you go in there, the waiting room. It's not a waiting room. It's a fucking full-on lobby. Yeah. Like 25 seats in there. Yeah, yeah, Dude, had a glass case like it was a diamond store. Like with sun, like just services and eye, eyewear and all that shit. And then it's like a 16-door cor- like door, corridor thing. And I'm like, you have the fucking time, bro. Yeah, super hot nurses probably or assistants. Uh, they were robots because he had so <laughs> much money. He just... 
you know, the thing is an automated <laughs> fucking eye unit. I don't remember what iPads rolling around on yeah. wheels yeah. and segways. <laughs> he doesn't even come into the office anymore. <laughs> Does everything virtually. <laughs> just Skypes in. Yeah. The, what, he's just like he's just like wearing a snapback at his place. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know, man. You should probably just keep the sis. I Dude, don't really it's not feel like horrible. Because then I gotta put my hands in these virtual yeah. gloves and I gotta do surgery virtually. <laughs> it's just not what I wanted to do today. Man. Yeah, yeah. Well, so when they cut it out, like this is what I'm saying. Just be glad it's the hot compress because they put like steroids and all that shit. But I had to be awake. But it it was like numbing steroids, so I was just feeling this thing like yanking around in my eye. It was super weird. Then he got it out, and now this thing is like discolored permanently. So I was about to say it looks really fucked up. Yeah. Super weird. Yeah, a little bit. So you, we're just, both in the same boat. Yeah, definitely. Definitely not as bad as that. <laughs> no, I think we're in the same boat. Uh, yeah, I mean, yours was pretty weird. So I think we're kind of in the same boat here. I thought you had a stroke or something. <laughs> <laughs> like half of your face looks. The eye. That's what it fucking feels like. I mean, yeah. no, obviously, I don't know what it feels like to actually mm-hmm. have half of your face be right. paralyzed. But, but it, like when I'm walking around, I feel like I, I feel almost dumber because I'm like that's, half my. <laughs> the eye is like point. I can't lift it up I just feel like walking around like <laughs> that's how people mm. look at you they're like oh yeah. did you need help with the ketchup you're like I'm not fucking I can pump the ketchup asshole my eyes fucked up I didn't gain a chromosome you dick <laughs> it's just, but that's how it feels you look like the motherfucker from the Goonies you didn't ask for it it's just there on your fucking face I mean the worst part about it is you said you said be grateful it's not I don't have to cut the shit out, but I still might have to. I don't no. know. It keeps getting worse, and I keep putting the warm compress on it. Well, it looks like swelling, but mine was like in the duct, and it was like hard. So it it looked like a zit. It looked like my eyelid had a boner. Yeah. Like, it was just coming through. Yeah. It did look like some foreskin around a, a knob. Whatever. Eye boners. I get those all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hide hide your eye boners from your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, shit, shit, shit. We're looking at porn? No, 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 no. Fuck, fuck. When you see when you see a hot chick walking down the street and you're, you're with your like, girl, I'd just be like, I boner. I boner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad that dicks are in pants. Like if dicks were anywhere else, imagine if they're just on foreheads. <laughs> you just get hard as hell in fucking public eating a salad. Super embarrassing. Yeah, salads turn me on too. Yeah, super, I know. Super hard. Just the tomatoes. Yeah, and, yeah, I love it. Mm, mm. Grilled chicken, baby. <laughs> mm. Dry. I had hickam on a salad yesterday, which is just water in solid form. Not ice. Hic- hickam? Hickam. I've never heard of this. Jicama, it's spelled. Jicama. It's pronounced jicama. Or pronounced hickama. Yeah, oh, okay. It's spelled, it's spelled jicama. What is the origin of that? Like, um, Eskimo? I don't know, dude. No idea. No idea. I don't understand it at all. It tastes like nothing. Which actually, uh, which I, I do fuck with water chestnuts, so it's that I fuck with those Hardcore. What is a why is water it? chestnuts give me a solid bone dog? <laughs> what 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 makes them big old forehead chestnut? boner for <laughs> a water chestnut? Is hard on the forehead. Boom. What 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 makes it a water chestnut? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. It's not even close to a chestnut at all. All these kids are just gonna get in the comments because they're smarter than us. I'm like a water chestnut is developed in a fucking this and that vat, you dumb old. And we're gonna be like, okay, yeah. We said we're dumb. Yeah, all you nut scientists out there. <laughs> have you have you experienced some degree of depression from your eye? Like from how it fucked up? Not yeah. really. It's starting to like a, it's starting to fuck with me a little bit because it's like I got to go to this thing on Saturday and meet a whole bunch of people and it's like this. You just the whole no matter time. what like this this fucks up the first impression no matter what yeah. Because it's not like people don't judge books by their covers. Oh, people do that shit all the time. Yeah. I remember when, I, when Q had the two eye things, I was like, I, I can't look at you, dude. Like, yeah. it's, you're ugly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you got these fucking balls on your eyes. And Get it's back like, in it's your bell tower. It's freaking me you out. fucking hunchback. <laughs> yeah. It's like when a dog has a cyst and you're just, uh, you're just going to look at it, you <laughs> yeah, know? It's yeah. gross. And yeah. That shit snipped off, man. <laughs> so I know, I know that. I'm, like, self-aware enough to the point where it's like, I meet all these people and no matter... You know, even if it's like looking a little better by that point, so there's, they're all still going to remember me as the dude with the fucked up eye. You should have an eye patch. Just do it. Yeah, I think I might. Just be like, oh, wait, Halloween was last night? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, <what> are you? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm a drunk pirate. Because hey. it's like, you're, you're just drunk and wearing an eye patch. <laughs> and your eye patch says I'm not retarded. <laughs> <laughs> can't say that word. Sorry. Jesus, man. Sorry. You can't say the R word. R word. Should I, you know, I've told you, I, I debate deleting that sketch. I am gay. Uh, 
Hey, while we're being problematic, we yeah, might while as well we're throw being problematic, yeah, just you know, maybe one more for the you know for the people. And there we go. <laughs> and we're back. Wait, I had something to fucking say about the um, the R word. No, about uh, no, because the I think the funny thing about this is that everyone keeps telling me warm compress, warm compress, and it's made and to me that is the stupidest treatment of all time. The fact that it actually works. Yeah. Like I've never like this is to me this is bad. Like it's. It's in, I'm, in, I'm in pain. My eyes it feels itching. like an injury. My eyes itching looking at yeah, it. Yeah, it feels like a fucking injury. And for people just to be like, yeah, just put a warm thing on it. Hold it there. And then it'll be good. <laughs> I'm like, what if that was the treatment for other things? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, I snap my Achilles tendon. Mm. You just hold a warm bag of sand on it and it'll be... <laughs> bag of sand on it will be fine. It'll, t- it'll take like a month. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Yeah, 15 minutes a day. Just hold it on there. Yeah, you're getting better. Yeah. Just, and it was swollen like a fucking <laughs> yeah. rock. It's just a big ass yeah. billiard ball in your fucking leg. Just temperature. That's all you need. <laughs> just heat. Heat will solve this. And it's not like you can go like you can't go into a sauna and make it go away. Like you have to apply it. Yeah. Which is really annoying. It's the stupidest. Every doctor. Warm compress. Just give me the drug that'll yeah. fucking do it. <laughs> just give Let me, me take something. In a cabinet, they're locking it more. Just warm compress. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You don't need this. Give me the thing. I want to. I want to. No, no, no. Just pop a drug, and I want this to be gone in one day, which I know that's probably possible. Listen, towel, home goods. They make a great (laughs) eight hundred thread. Just warm that up. Hot compress. You don't want these. The guy actually, when I went to urgent care, the guy was like, um, he said warm compress. Of course, I'm like, okay, fucking heard that shit before. Could have just web MD'd this instead. I paid one hundred and fifty bucks. I I paid one hundred and fifty bucks for this fucking like uh, assembly line doctor because that's what they do there. They just like. Dude, I walked in there. They had me in the room in 20 seconds. Took my vitals, 150 bucks. <laughs> like, 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 give me your card. I'm like, what is this? This is just a, this is just a front for. Yeah. Like, are you even a doctor? Or are you just like dress them in a lab coat? And, uh, no questions. Boop. Yeah. Hot compress. Yeah, exactly. Bucks. I paid 150 bucks to tell this guy I'd heat up my eye. That's it. <laughs> and the guy goes, yeah, yeah. I usually, you know, suggest a, a shoulder. There's a shoulder pad you can buy from, from CVS or from Target or whatever. And I was like, so then I just. I put it on my shoulders and then, and then we're good. He's like, no, no, you got to put it on your eye. And I was like, oh, yeah, that was the stupidest thing I've yeah. ever said in my entire life. <laughs> I was like, what kind of homeopathic fucked up shit is this? Well, if you heat up the shoulder, it takes you know, the swelling. <laughs> it takes the blood away from the eye. I mean, yeah, it's, it's bad. Like, you know how, like, um, what's the shit called when you get the needles in you? Oh, acupuncture. Yeah, you know, you like people like... You acupuncture your ankle and it somehow fixes a kink in your neck or something. I don't, I don't know. That's what I thought he was saying. I thought yeah. he was like, yeah, yeah, just throw it on your shoulders. It'll be all good. It's like an ancient, like Indian remedy. <laughs> it's You'll be totally cool, man. Yeah. Just um, here, just heat up these hot stones. Yeah. Uh, put these under um, your left thigh. Yeah. It's going to take care of the eye. Under both your nuts. <laughs> you want to heat up your nuts. Heat up your balls. Yeah. We always- it's a very, a very, very small ligament that goes from your eyelid right to your nutsack it's called the pineal gland <laughs> it's in the brain warm that shit up you'll be fine my dog you'll be good so um, um yeah so it's just been shitty it's just been shitty you would think that there is whenever something swells up like you don't have a needle to just yeah just come on i just want to fucking pop it yeah <laughs> same yeah i want to pop it for you yeah, hit up one of those YouTube channels that pop zits and just be like, you need to do it. Like, here, let's collab. That'll be your scene. Let's collab. I got a big one for you. Cyst popping featuring Cody Ko. Warning, explosive. What's up, guys? I'm here with Cody Ko, and we're going to pop his cyst. <laughs> his cyst eye. His now, eye. normally they tell you warm compress, but not today. Not on this channel. Not on this <laughs> channel. We're going to pop the shit out of this thing. This channel, we do our own medical procedures. <laughs> That's going to be your next... Uh, sorry, there. sorry, sorry, no, I had good. to do it it's again. Um, I gotta, I'm like heating up a little bit. I'm getting hot. I got to take off this sweater. I don't want to want to create silence. Do it. I'll keep them, I'll yeah. keep them entertained. Yeah. yeah, keep them in it. Um, so the new fucking... Oh, God, it's so fucking hot! <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, dude. Sorry. Okay. Noel's got a shoulder injury, so they told him just to keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to wear his hoodie. <laughs> Chet, doctor, it's completely out of its socket. It's fucked up. I was skateboarding, and I got hit by a truck, and I, my shoulder's all fucked. It's mm. completely out of the fucking socket. Look at it. It's hanging by the skin. Yeah, that's bad. What do I do? God. And my other arm's completely off. Well, Chopped off. 
Uh, here, take this towel, put it between your feet, <laughs> get it up to your shoulder, just hold it on your shoulder. That's going to make that better. What? You're just going to, yeah, keep the what towel you, on your feet. Why? Why? Well, just heat it up first. Put some hot water on Okay. It. I don't know. And then get I your just... legs up to your shoulder and hold it there. This, this is it? That's all I do? It's it be good? Do. Yeah, do that for about six weeks. Six weeks? Come back and see me. Huh. $600, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> See, my insurance covers it. It doesn't. Because my insurance doesn't fucking cover anything. Jack, what do you want? You want the, this old... is the worst, worst goddamn insurance. The Obama? The worst the shit. And I got Oscar, which is kind of the same shit. Uh, it's similar. It's just like for people who don't fucking have jobs. and. Uh, I just, I like, nothing is covered. Nothing. Yeah. I don't even bother them. They don't even check anymore. It's just like, it's no. <laughs> Can I have your house? Just fucking charge me. Just fucking charge me. That's my insurance. Just paying for it out of pocket. <laughs> All right, well, that's not depressing. Um, the new <laughs> Offset album. Oh, oh, with uh, <clears throat> Metro, Metro Boomin and 21 Savage. I listened to that while I was bumping some fucking iron. Oh, actually, that's what we should talk about because guess what? What's I'm that? back in it now. Oh, high five. Ow, sore. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm really sore. Wait, let's try that again. Oh, my ah, hands back. Fuck. Fucking Jesus Christ. <sighs> All right. I did chest yesterday. Ah. I'm back in it, baby. I'm yeah. going to do it. I had an egg white omelet this morning. Wow. I know. I'm, I'm in it, dude. You know what I had this morning? What? Five eggs, two hash browns. Is that your, like, standard thing? When I'm starving? Yeah. I I can't fucking picture you eating five eggs. Mm-hmm. The most I've seen you eat in one sitting is a quarter of a sandwich before you go, ah, it's so fucking rich, dude. It's yeah. so rich, man. I don't I don't know. I wasn't <laughs> expecting the sandwich. It's a bit of a quote from you. Two days ago, we went, we went to this shop... Got a sandwich. It's all it is is a turkey sandwich. I said, and, "Hey, wait, let me fucking finish this shit." Go ahead. Noel gets back, opens it up, he's <laughs> eating it like he does, where he's like, "Ah, oh, it's too." He takes a bite out of it, like it's like the most dramatic thing he's ever done in his entire life. Like it's the hardest thing ever. Oh man. And uh, and drops it down. He eats about a quarter of this thing. He goes, "Oh man, I didn't expect this sandwich to be so rich." Yep. Rich. Yes. Rich. rich. It's a turkey sandwich. It rich. Was, it was. Fucking just doused what, in oil. That was it? Yeah. Fucking molasses on there too? Dude, it just felt... It was one step away from deep fried. I felt <clears> disgusting <throat> eating that shit. I was like, ugh. I actually... I see where you're coming from. The, <laughs> it was like white bread. Like yeah. grilled in butter on the fucking penny. Yeah. Grass. It was just heavy. super heavy. Yeah, it was yeah. heavy. But still, I would have eaten the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah, I tapped it. That's never ever made me stop something. Yeah, no. no. Oh, the sandwich is too heavy. <laughs> For me, it's like, the sandwich is heavy as fuck. Yeah. I'm into it. Same thing in the gym. I start lifting. I'm like, oh, it's too heavy. And I leave. <laughs> yeah, see that? I believe. Yeah. See, this is what I don't, I don't, I can't picture you eating five eggs. Yeah. I, I imagine you tapping out after the first one and going, oh man, these eggs are so, so messy, man. It's so, no. it's all so much heavier than I, than I expected. And My metabolism is two speeds. When I'm not, if I don't exercise, it goes to sloth mode, right? Yeah. Like, oh, is that half an avocado? We're good for like a day. But then as soon, I could just run on the treadmill for 10 minutes. And then it's like, oh, yeah, this is a dumpster. Put anything in here and let's keep going. <laughs> so I just have to keep putting food. It's, it's fucking annoying. It's like when you drop something on an already hot skillet, like drop a piece of butter on a hot skillet. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. what your stomach is. Yeah. Just put an egg in there. <laughs> just immediately uses it. I'm like, well, all right, next. Food, food, more food. Okay. I mean, that egg was expensive. But <laughs> then you put 18 in there. Like, ah, it's just one. You're like, oh, fucking come on. It would get annoying for Alina because it would be like, I would eat all day. That would be my life. Like, you know, some years ago. And then... We'd like be when going, you were working out? When I was working out. Okay. Yeah. And then I, when we go to sleep, it's like 1230 in the morning. I'm like, I'm hungry. She's like, I don't care what it is. Just go to the kitchen. Whatever it takes. I'd just be in there like milk and fucking yogurt and cheese. I'd pick the heaviest shit to just shut my fucking stomach up. Yeah, it's really annoying. I don't think you have to... I think, I don't know. I, th- I feel like your body gets, like, um, accustomed to eating like that. I agree. Like, I, I just changed my fucking world when I saw this dude in gold. One of the, I see him all the time. He's, like, gigantic bodybuilder <laughs> status. Like, this guy's huge. Yeah. I heard him talking to another guy about, like, his diet and shit like that. And he was like, yeah, I'm basically a vegetarian. He's like, I, I eat, um, he's like, I eat fish sometimes. But he's like, I'm all natural. He's like, I don't take it. Well, which... You know, whatever. Take it with a grain of salt. Maybe he's on the roids, but he sure. seemed pretty like yeah. unabashed about the fact that he was like was. He's like, yeah, yeah. I just like 
People say you got to eat the meat and the cheese and whatever if you're trying to gain mass. But he's like, I've just done this all by eating fucking like legumes it. and shit like that. I believe it. Yeah, I'm trying to like cut out. I feel like I get hungry like that because I'm used to eating like a shitload of carbs. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I'm just trying to dial that back. So That's what, I mean, I got my, I got my biggest <clears throat> mm-hmm. when I was like doing intermittent fasting yeah. and like I wasn't eating carbs at all and I really wasn't eating that much protein or anything. That's when I got my biggest. Mm. I think it just like, just fucking depends. Yeah. I definitely, my metabolism's slower now, so it helps. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get fucking ripped in about a month. So yeah, me too. Let's have let's race, race to get ripped. Have R to R. Have a flex off. Yeah. In like sixty days. Let's do that. Okay. We should fucking we should fucking like <clears throat> actually have like a podcast challenge. Okay. Because otherwise, there's no there's no reason for me. The only reason why I got in such good shape in January and February is because I had to shoot that pilot and I had to be shirtless. That was the only uh, reason. Other than that, it's like I have no. Yeah, motivation anymore what am I gonna like I, I the only thing is that I, I wanna like look jacked for Kelsey but it's like if I don't we're still gonna have sex well so it's like yeah that's a core motivation for me because for fucking the last I would say year and a half I've just gone into the mirror and been like ugh Elena has to fuck that <laughs> oh my god what a chore what a fucking chore this washed up 8th grader I know I gotta be at the point where I, I want to watch myself fuck. You yeah. know? Yeah. Like, I want to be at the point, like, my my buddy slept with this girl, like, last weekend or something, and he said that she had a mirror beside her bed, and she was just looking at herself the whole time. <laughs> and I was like, I want to be on that American Psycho shit. I want to be on that sh- I want to be on that shit. Like, I want to be turned on by myself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Not to say, like, obviously, like, Gels is always going to turn me on, but I'm saying I want to go to the next level and right. be like, I'm turned on by this whole thing because yeah. I'm looking down at myself. I'm so fucking ripped. You become, I'm gay for me. Yeah, you become gay for you. I want to be gay for me. Yeah. Yeah, I feel it. Yep. Go ahead. I'm gay. For me. <laughs> for me. Yes. <laughs> I want to be... So that's the challenge. Who can me. who can be gay for themselves first? That's the challenge. Yeah. Let's call it... Let's call it the gay for me challenge. Gay for me challenge. Yeah. All right. G4M. <laughs> like, G- I like... I keep just making things acronyms, but G4M challenge. Gay for me challenge. Yep. Um... And uh, what's like what two months? Yeah, I'm gonna need two months. Two months, because this fucking bones don't retain mass very well. Two months, we'll do. Well, we'll do like a weigh-in right now, mm-hmm. and then a weigh-in at the end of two months. Okay. And then whoever is most gay for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did you beat it to yourself? <laughs> How can you measure that? I don't know. I think if you just get the urge to beat off to yourself, you already <laughs> won. <laughs> Whoever, okay, we'll do a naked win, naked separately, win. of course, yeah. and whoever has the biggest hard on for themselves mm-hmm. at the end. At time of win. At, at the time end. of win at the end wins. And yeah. then we don't do anything with the weight. Right. <laughs> I don't know. The weight and really no physique point. has nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah. This is all about beating off to yourself. <laughs> That's what half of working out is. You see dudes much. in the gym just like staring at their biceps like... <clears throat> oh, dude, you if you actually think that... That it's bad wherever you go, I'm guarantee you oh, gold no. is way worse. I know gold is worse. Because they all do it, like, as a sport outside the gym. Like, yeah. their their life is bodybuilding. Mm-hmm. When, so they have to do that shit on stage. So they're just completely shameless when it comes to that shit. Like, yeah. they'll, like, make sounds and stuff. They'll stand in front of the mirror and just go, and, like, smile and, like, just look at themselves. And they're gay for themselves. And I want to I wanna be that gay for me. I was fine with everything you just said until the smile. The smile is what put me over. Yeah, they smile at themselves. And yeah. then they, like, without even, like, there's just, they don't give a fuck what's happening around them. Yeah. Yeah, shameless. I'll tell you something hilarious I saw yesterday. What? Dude walks in with his baby. To the like gym? In the stroller. Yeah, just like wheels him up next to the dumbbell rack and he's just like... What was the baby's What was the baby's build looking like? Um, He's a little pussy. So yeah, he was some, he? Yeah, he had some time. I mean, you could tell his dad was trying to shave it off. <laughs> so he like he's like sitting there doing like these weird workouts that, you know... They're like workouts that I think you do when you're 40. Okay. And you realize you don't fuck anymore. Yeah. He's like, he's like, he starts with his traps. And that Who t- starts with their traps. Exactly. Like that, also, you don't have to work out your traps. That to me is like, uh, he's holding on to a day. He remembers. He's well, like, he was just doing shrugs? Yeah. With 25, mind That's you. so stupid. Yeah. So just really weird non workouts, you know? Just a men- it was a mental thing. And then uh, his baby just starts going, ah! You're a pussy. Yeah. You're a bitch. <laughs> and he was like, shut, 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 shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. And then he just had to leave. 
Which I'm like, you knew that was gonna happen. Just so he got a solid trap workout in, and then he left. He had a few pull ups and dips, and then he okay. had, then he had Jesus to bail. Christ. And then this du- this other dude walked in there, he's fucking four times my size, and like we were both kind of doing the same shit. He, you know, I appreciated this. He, he did the friendly, uh, you know, pull the earphone out. He goes, "We can share. We can, you know, just let me know what you need." I was like, "Oh, thanks for acknowledging I'm fucking smaller." Than <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly. what that was. Yeah. Like I don't, you know, I don't want you to be embarrassed. Okay. Hey, we can share. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know if you need the 60s while I curl them. <laughs> For both of your arms. <laughs> yeah. Us- using two hands to curl a dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you needed to use the 60 to like hold down a bench or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to use it as a fucking... Oh yeah, that dude was fucking just ripping through shit. He was doing like, you know, like the leg downs were like on the bench where like you lift your legs up like for your abs yeah. or whatever. And he's like simultaneously like doing tricep shit with like a 45. And fucking your girl. Yeah, the just time. all of it. I'm like, well, <laughs> all right. Why don't you fuck my mom in front of my dad too? Just fuck all the women I'm related to in front of all the spouses. Yeah, while we'll you... would be cool with it. We're like, this guy's hot. He's while fine. you do fucking weighted chin-ups. Yeah. <laughs> just My girlfriend is shit. sucking your dick. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Great form. <laughs> it's just fucking unreal how much like you fall off when you don't go to the gym regularly yeah yeah it's so it took it took everything i had to fucking leave my apartment yesterday and and walk to the gym yeah and when i was there it's like okay now i'm in it and i'm yeah. enjoying it whatever but like when i was when i was working out regularly i was stoked to go to the gym i was like yep. it was a part of the day i actually like look forward to yeah and i like it was easy to go and now it's like I gotta just, it's just gotta, everything I have. You have to push it. It's crazy. Yep, yeah, it's just like a six ton sled. Yeah. And I'm just trying to push that shit. Like, come on. Yeah. I was like, I could, I could oh, jerk dude. off right now. I could stay home and edit and, you know, yeah, do other things. Yeah. 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 But yeah. it's like, it's just, know, you get, I mean, I want to be gay for me. Yeah, I want to be gay for me too. Yeah, I want to fuck me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, should we get into the news? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get into the news. Um, explain this segment. So, I thought it'd be funny to dig up some hilarious local news stories. You know, we get a lot of news about, like, politics and, like, heavy shit, people dying, and I'm like, let's, let's go with some funny stuff. So, let's do it. We're going to be two idiot anchors moving through these stories, but I guarantee these are going to fucking kill you. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. By the way, I want to like actually, we should actually make like a public, sorry, <laughs> you're just about to like go on a newscaster oh, yeah. mode yeah, there, my bad. I was going to do it. Um, I want to make like a public soundboard for all these sounds. Yeah. And so we can just pull up the website and, and do it <laughs> yeah. and then other people can use them in whatever they yeah. want. And we should do like, we should make people, I guess it would just like be a fucking mess, but we can have people like submit yeah. sounds like they've cut from our podcast oh, if yeah, they want to. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, I don't know if anyone would actually do that, but... Well, it doesn't matter, because all I'm going to do is I'm just going to write the code so that it'll just randomize it mm-hmm. to probably just I'm gay. Oh, so it'll be one button? No, it'll be, it'll be a ton of buttons, but you never know what you're going to get. So just all of them will have I'm gay on it? Potentially, thing. yeah. <laughs> or, you know, it just depends <laughs> Depends what the algorithm's in the mood for. I actually like that. Just one button that randomly picks through a bunch of our sounds. <laughs> you just don't know. And you just have no idea. Yeah. That's fucking funny. Yeah. Damn it. A little bit of soundboard roulette. Yeah. Wish we discussed that not on the podcast, because so that'd be a funny... No, no. Let's do it. Yeah, okay. No, I'm saying, like, you know, it's not as funny when people know that it's coming. It's fine. It's okay. Pretty gay. <laughs> like that. <laughs> bet you bet it caught you off, off guard on that one. Okay, anyways. Welcome back to Channel 7. This is your boy, <laughs> Dick Dastardly, with the top, with our top story of the hour. <laughs> and also me, Jim Jim. <laughs> Jim Jim. Jim Jim. You gotta have a better cast name than Jim Jim. <laughs> no, Jim Jim is my first name. Oh, God. Jim Dash Jim. <laughs> my last name is Jimmels. <laughs> Jim Jim Jimmels. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. This is your LA local news at four with your host, Dick Dastardly and Jim Jim Jimmels. <laughs> at the top of the hour, it's uh, the Golden Harvest in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Rick Lowe was preparing his next batch of deer urine. 
He's getting ready to ship gallons and gallons of white-tailed deer urine. Lowe says his stuff is fresh, and he uses about a gallon himself. <laughs> For what? So apparently, this guy sells this stuff. Um, <laughs> he uses, does it say... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what he uses it for? Yeah. Or so, does it just leave it ambiguous like that? He's going to use a gallon himself. And then it just ends. It just ends. Like, <laughs> what this dude using? <laughs> Drinking the shit? Yeah. Just a 30-second story. They never touch on it again. Is there some weird homeopathic use for this that we don't know? Does it solve every eye sty? Does it solve eye styes in two days? Cures them? He, he has a sty. He like, he, like, pulls them out. He's like, watch this. And then they <laughs> yeah. cut. Like, what? Wait. More! <laughs> oh my god. You'll be disappointed to know it actually has a practical use. What is it? Um, it's for it's for hunting. So in oh, 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 oh. To like leer, leer. Yeah, so... In, but here's what's weird is in certain states, it's illegal to mask human scent. So in the states where it's legal to okay. hide your scent, yeah. people put this shit on their clothes and various wherever. Wait, why is it illegal to mask human scent? Because I guess... Oh, for hunting? Yeah, for hunting. So the deer should have a heads up. Which I think is polite. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's etiquette. Yeah, it's etiquette. Hunting etiquette. Hey, you might die. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, just give them a little, hey, we're around. <laughs> you know? I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, be forewarned. <laughs> if you might get shot in the, the next fucking face. <laughs> or neck or ass. Depends what's easiest. Yeah. No, that's that's actually yeah. That that's that that's I you know, I don't think that's fair. Just but Oh dude, it's my brother. <laughs> oh that's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at, homie? <laughs> oh bro, I recognize that smell anywhere. <laughs> Wait, fuck? you are my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing... Full, that's what hunters use, right? Fully automatic. Fully semi-automatic. The dingo. The dingo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> they have a full chain gun on the back of a fucking F-350. Just like light a up. A minigun. <laughs> An entire lineage of deer gets fucking put into the earth. Cut into pieces. <laughs> oh my god. They come through the civil oh. This fucking... World War II airplane. <laughs> it's a gunner. <laughs> Dude, it's my brother. I recognize that smell anywhere. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Fucking AA shells. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Fucking RPG. Oh, bro. Dude, I went to a place in Cambodia where you could pay to RPG a cow. No fucking way. Did we already talk about this or no? no? Yeah, it was fucking oh, nuts, dude. Oh, shit. This is the same place I shot an M16. Dude, that is third world entertainment to the oh, yeah. T. Oh, 100%. We have this leftover from uh, World War One, and you can uh, shoot my cow. And he was, he was pushing it, too. Like, <laughs> hardcore. He was like, and we got the bonus pocket. Oh, what the fuck? My wife. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like fifty dollars. dollars. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like fifty or hundred bucks or something like that, U.S. Oh. And you got to you got to RPG oh a live cow, and then you got to fuck his wife. <laughs> Could you kill a cow for a hundred bucks? No, I, yeah, I was yeah. like, there's absolutely no way <laughs> that I would ever do that. Like, what? I don't, I don't want fucking cow juice. <laughs> This cow's gonna explode in front of me. There's gonna be cow mist in the air. <laughs> I mean, what if you miss? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of assumption, bro. What if you just goes past and you fucking you hit like a vegetable truck? <laughs> Oh, I'm going to jail. That's, that's the, forever. That's the bonus bonus package. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Wow. How many cows does he have? That he I don't just, know. He can just pitch this. I don't know. It was fucked. I was oh. like, I don't even. I don't know. I don't. I got so many dark scenarios. It's like a local farmer. His cows <laughs> keep coming up. He's like, I need these things gone. <laughs> They're just hey, pests. Hey, you want to kill a cow? Yeah, come on, bucks. American man. <laughs> come on. It's a fun time. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Fucking a. That is so funny and fucked up. Explode a cow. Oh my god. Shooting an M16 was fun though. Yeah, you should, yeah. That shit was fun. Dude, um, my, my 
on his brother and fire him, but he's got like so many guns, so many dope guns. Yeah. And we like he had like a fucking semi auto M4 with laser sight and all that shit. And we we were just at the LA gun club with that thing, just like looking tactical as bitch. Just yeah. Missing. But it's yeah. like that's what I mean. It's like it's a it's a it's like a it's fun to do. Yes. There. Yeah. I would never need to fucking own one. Mm-hmm. I don't... People are so, like, possessive over the guns that they own, and it's like, why? Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Yeah, they're beautiful, and they're fun to look at, and shit like that, and they're, like, nice pieces of machinery, right? Yeah. When you're at a gun range, and you can, like, shoot it and have fun with it there, it's like an amusement, right? It's like... I think that's... Why do you need to have it in your fucking place? Like a... I understand... Place. I understand both sides. I feel like, dude, if we lived on a ranch, and we could just, like... I, I meant, like, good example, my buddy went out, like, east to, like, hang out with one of his college friends, and they're, like, they go to some, like, gun range, and the gun range there is just, like, a store on an empty, like, 10-acre lot. <laughs> his buddy's, like, just chewing fucking whatever. Dip? He, no, not dip, with the fucking straw shit. Hey. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, just full redneck. He's, like, yeah, hey, we're gonna blast some real guns today. Pulls out an AK with two drums on it. Yeah. And he's, like, that was the most fun shit ever. And they can just do that anywhere, just, like... <laughs> So I get it. If you can just go out in your backyard, unload a fucking hundred rounds, yeah. and you're like, if that's like your entertainment, yeah, but I got gas. Yeah, it's a gas. it's a weird whatever. We don't have to go down this path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll stay out of the we'll stay out of the gun, gun control, control politics, gun control policy. I just shit. don't like. I don't know. I've never been. Yeah, never gotten it. Never never understood the gun thing. Never it's understood the fun. gun fetish. Never understood. It. <laughs> we, got another, we got another story. <laughs> we got another story. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to your South American stories. The, oh. the Cape Town poo throwers are at it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Students left all kind of excrements all over the university in protest of <laughs> deer urine. Fees. <laughs> That's oh. it. Fees. They're mad about the fees. <laughs> So they just shit in their hands and threw it over the fucking school. Holy shit. Which is so baller. Jesus Christ. How do you organize that? Like, what fees are we talking about? Textbook fees? I think just like the tuition. That's all it says is in protest the fees. Whatever those are. Yeah, it's like, well, now we got to clean all this shit up, which costs (laughs) even more. So you're not really helping the situation here. They slash tires for like student transport as well. Oh my God. This, I just want to know... Like, that's a lot of shit to get an, an article, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It can't just be, like, five guys who, like, rub their poo on a statue. It's also, like, not... It's, <laughs> it's gotta be not a pleasant thing to do yourself. <laughs> you, it must be that expensive. You're so angry, you're like... <laughs> ah! And you throw it at the library. <laughs> just revert, revert back to your primal <laughs> urge to throw your own shit. Like that afterwards you got shit on your hand. You're just a person that has shit on their hand. That's what you are after that. And And then you gotta deal with that. They don't care. That's how upset they are. But I'm saying like, you know, you know when you jerk off and then afterwards they're like, what (laughs) am I watching? Oh, it's disgusting. It must be that, you know? You have this all of a sudden this giant outburst of rage and you shit in your hand and wipe it on a locker or a statue or whatever. And then you're like and then you kinda start to cool down a little bit and then you're the guy that's got shit on his hand, his own shit. But but it's a hundred of you. It must be like walking out of an orgy. Like why did that was oh my god I can't even. I can't. It look. actually must be exactly like walking out of an orgy. <laughs> I can't look at these. Everyone people. is just everyone's covered in shit. And oh. <laughs> and, and, oh. Uh, it's like well group, oh. group showers. Uh, I guess. Yeah. What is that like walking out of an orgy? Is it like just like leaving the club? I don't know, man. We we were talking leaving leaving the club. Yeah. All right. See you. Yeah. No, it's not because it's like. It, it's this is someone was someone had been to what was it someone was telling me they'd been to like one of these um sex sex parties oh god and like a lot of the times they're just like you know it's, where, it's where sort of like a sort of like a, swing, sort of like a swing where is it i can give you the address after That's this disgusting. um oh. yeah just absolutely disgusting just so i can stay away yeah yeah, yeah exactly i can give you the address after oh, this yeah. gross <laughs> yeah um I'll tell you to get there it's a little bit difficult it's like behind a I it's just yeah you know, gross. gross. Yeah, yeah, I just want to mark that off my. Yeah, place. exactly. Yeah, stay away from those roads. Um, um, so they went to the sex club. Well, a lot of these, a lot of these parties, swingers parties or whatever, just like held at people's houses. Oh, 
And like a lot of the times, like people that go there, it's like a unsaid thing where it's like you never ever mention it after after because you see like people that you'll you know coworkers oh. and like colleagues and stuff like that there, and it's like it's like an unspoken thing. It's like we do this, this is our time to do this shit, but outside this does not exist. Wow, sort of shit. So I feel like that's like, but again, I don't know that from experience. I'm oh. just you know this is something that I've sure. heard, and <laughs> like, it's gross. So I'm telling you about it. Because I think it's very gross and just, you know, stay away. This doesn't need to be part of anyone's life, you know. I have to piggyback off that. So there was this dude, he did an AMA on Reddit. You don't don't know if these things are real. But this is a guy apparently who was well-traveled with sex clubs. Okay. And what he was describing was insanely fucking strange. It was not like this horny fuckfest experience. Like he would go to clubs like in foreign countries and he'd have to get like... You know, you'd be like, oh, I just, uh, you know, some people get naked, other people don't, other people don't. I'm like, which is fucking weird if you're like at a weird place serving drinks and there's just a dude with his n- nuts out. And he's like, yeah. oh, so what are you into? <laughs> you know, the not guys. Okay, sorry. My, you're just checking or whatever. Then he started talking about like he, porn stars would show up. And people would, like, take turns on the porn For star. For what? Don't they get enough sex? Yeah, it was, like, a VIP thing. So, okay. like, you know, ten guys with a blue wristband could, you know, fuck around. It was just really <clears throat> gross shit. Oh, but weird. Yeah, so basically what it sounded like is these sex clubs are just full of dudes. And then a few women who probably should be seeing psychologists. Okay. Or just like it, you know, whatever. I'm not going to make a judgment. You just made a judgment. I just did. I'm going to take it yeah, back. Yeah. Um, but there's something wrong about just going to a place like everybody use my body. Yeah, you know. I mean, we, it's. I think it's. I don't think it's a thing about gender in there. It's just like everyone using, everyone's getting used, everyone. That's what it's about. Well, what he described it just it sounded like it was way more dudes jerking off. Oh, I see. And then just <laughs> women selectively having sex. Could you imagine being? Like, you said that. Some people are naked. Some people. That's aren't. what. Yeah. That, Could that, you imagine that, like being the outcast in a sex club? Like being the guy that's wearing cargo shorts and like a sandals, sandals, and you're like, I'm just here for work, and I don't know how I ended up here. Like, and uh, yeah, okay. Everyone's kind of like looking at you, like, all right, get naked. And you're like, I don't get a lot of sandals over I, here. <laughs> He's like, a what a fucking weirdo, what a goof. <laughs> we'll let this guy in here fucking up the vibe. Oh Tits god, dick hanging out, <laughs> fucking. Does everyone's just. Shit hanging out. Dude to the smaller dick. What the fuck is this weirdo over here? Dude to the smaller dick is cooler than you. <laughs> yeah. Look at this fucking who let this fucking nerd in here. Get him out. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, four? What up, bro? <laughs> Did you let sandals in here? Get 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 fucking He's got a wire in his fucking pocket there on the leg. <laughs> fucking goofball. Yeah. Probably got a big dick under there. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> fucking strange. <laughs> what are you hiding it? Let it let it let him see it. Came to a sex club. <laughs> fucking virgin? Why are you? Like, I kind of fit in anywhere, man. <laughs> I went to the normal club in this. Everyone was making, me, uh, making fun of me, too. <laughs> it just sucks everywhere. <laughs> that, would, that would really suck to be uncool and have a huge dick. <laughs> no one likes you. You're like, I have a niner. Everyone's like, yeah, but you just... It doesn't change <laughs> you. Like, you suck. <laughs> Yeah, before and after is still gonna suck. Yeah. Oh God, that's terrible. Poor guy. I mean, I'm hardly reporting on these stories, but this is good. It's that's uh, wait, wait. That's some guy posted in the community section of the Patreon. Yeah. It's like we get what was that character that you did the hoarder? <laughs> oh my vine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Who yeah. was that? What was his name? Uh, Harvey some. Uh, Murray Myrtle. Murray Myrtle. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Or or what's the fucking open board guy? Oh, oh, Murphy Shelton. Murphy Shelton, I feel like Murphy Shelton's packing. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Murphy Shelton is huge. He's got a huge, <laughs> huge dick. He just does no idea. He has yeah. no idea. That he at sucks. all. Yeah. Even that he has a huge dick. <laughs> he has no fucking idea. <laughs> Zero clue. He's like never watched porn before because it feels like a sin. So he doesn't, doesn't know. He's like too self-conscious to um, go to the showers. Yeah. Head, so he's never seen another <laughs> naked man. You know what I mean? He'll never, he'll never... No. Yeah, he, he's got a 12 or Yeah, exactly. He thinks he's small. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz his wife hates him so much. Exactly. Shames him. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a great dynamic to add to Murphy. Yeah. I'm not big on like, oh, I have a character, but 
That's the thing that's funny. Murph is a character. What are you talking about? Yeah. That's absolutely a character. I don't like to acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? If you guys don't know what we're talking about, go watch the open board sketch on uh, or the sketches on Noel's channel. Very funny. I get requests to bring those back. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I think those could be fun. Yeah. That's your next short film, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's my next. Yeah. I think I'm gonna make it like a like a six minute funny. Or yeah, just one one step past the sketch. Should we talk about the fact that you started uh cutting Yeah. Suki? Yeah, wait, I had one more story. Okay. And then then let's do this. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Local News. I'm Jim Jim Jimmels. And I'm Dick Dastardly. <laughs> Bit of a naughty story this morning. Ooh. Former Mississippi mayor paddles a suspected car burglar's backside. <laughs> Wait, what was it? He just, he just paddled a 22-year-old car burglar. <laughs> Who did? Some guy? Uh, uh, apparently a... What is this now? The mayor. The former mayor. Of? Of uh, Jacksonville. Jackson, Mississippi. Held down Juwan Bibbs. Held him down and paddled him <laughs> until police arrived. <laughs> what? Yeah. Why did she even have a paddle? I have no idea. Like a pla- like a frat paddle or what? I think so. This story. Why the like, fuck would you ever have a paddle? I think you? I think he was ready. He was just hoping. Yeah, yeah little boy. Mm-mm-mm. Not today, bitch. Not today. I knew I brought my paddle out for a reason. Came running out there. <laughs> what if it was like a canoe paddle? <laughs> oh, this is a fucking huge, a fucking twenty foot swings, beating this kid's ass. Dude's crying. <laughs> um, this is what you get. Boom. <laughs> we have a quote. When you break in people's stuff, it's because somebody didn't whoop your tail. Oh, there's a video. Holy Oh, fuck. no way. Of the beating? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I'm going to share this in the community. Okay. This is... Um, if I can get it to play. It's like Flash Play or some goofy shit. Uh, please wait while your party is reached. Yeah, it's not working. I'll just. We need. On. We can't. We can't post in the community section of. Uh, oh, that's right. The Patreon, but I think we just subscribe to ourselves with another. That's what account I was gonna do. Yeah. That we could. I mean, all of our current ones are ourselves, anyways. Yeah. We've actually subscribed to our own Patreon one thousand times. Yes. And we spend seven thousand dollars of our own money every month. <laughs> no to one make it look like we have subscribers. There's only fourteen of you who actually listen to this. Yeah, it's crazy. But big shout out to you guys. Thanks for sticking in there. Could you imagine that? Yeah. I I'm wonder if actually weird. some people do that. Oh, definitely, man. <clears throat> Dude, I was looking at like the um, list of top Patreons. Uh-huh. There's so many weird ones. Oh, like, yeah. Shit yeah. that you didn't even know. Like, there's a lot of like um, adult yeah. video games. Yeah. Like, yeah. like really like like weird. Mm-hmm. Which I which I kind of understand. Like, obviously, porn in every single form sells, no matter what. Yeah. But there's also like just weird ass shit on there. Like, just, definitely. I just really, really niche things where it's like, there's got to be like a thousand people on earth that like whatever this is Mm -hmm. and they're all paying on this Patreon and he's making like 10 grand a month or something. (sighs) To develop a strange bit of, you know, weird sex games. Yeah. Just like furry, I don't even know. It's just bizarre, but that's why Patreon is so fucking cool. Yeah. Because people support... People support weird fucked up... Niche comedy like this. Yeah. Like shooting RPGs at cows. Yeah. <laughs> and homeopathic bowl warming remedies for your eye problems. Speaking of um, blood everywhere. Uh, yeah, Suki. Where, oh, I was like, where the uh, fuck are you going uh, with this shit? Uh, hold on. <laughs> I killed somebody. <laughs> uh, yeah, Suki. We're, cu- we're cutting. We're, I think we're going to have the first viewable cut by tomorrow. What? Of the whole thing? The whole thing. Yes. Are you cutting tonight too? Yeah. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. How long is it? It's looking like about. Oh. See, told you. Don't lean back on that Ooh. shit. Ooh. Here, just hit that side in. Ladies and gentlemen, you almost saw workers' compensation. This is like now. Keep keep them entertained. This has been the chair just broke. No, I'll just lean back on the chair and it broke. And this has happened about three times now in my videos. So people just and these are someone was ripping on me because they were like, oh, what, you get so much money now on the Patreon. Why don't you just fucking buy furniture that's not IKEA? This is not IKEA. This is some good shit. This is this is um, West Elm. West Elm, baby. That's not cheap shit. I don't think it's not. I don't really remember what I got these for, but um. Yeah. 
So I just brain fucked myself. Um, Suki cutting Suki, Suki. cutting Suki. Yeah, we're cutting. So, so you're gonna have a watchable cut. Watchable cut. It's looking like seven eight minutes. Okay. It's about the sweet spot. How's it looking? Um, it's it looks amazing. Okay. Yeah. How is the the, How's the, the story, story is still kind of congealing. We'll have a better idea by the end of the week. Okay. We've been saving a big chunk, the middle chunk, which is what we've been afraid to look at. Okay. Because that's where the story's going to carry. We've just been a little bit like... <sighs> yeah. It's not like it's going to be bad, but we're like approaching it very like, um, you know, you have the idea of what it's going to be in the script. And then when you go to edit it, yeah. you always hope it comes out. Yeah. So... But yeah, oh, um, then we're gonna submit to a few festivals. We missed a few cutoffs. Did you? Yeah, but when what's what festival? Are you South by to? South by uh, cutoff was like October first, which I'm like, oh, that would have been sick. I know, but you can kind of. You know, I'm gonna email them and be okay. like, hey, first film, give me a little. Yeah, give me, throw me a bomb, dog. So what do you? How how much long? But like, don't you have to have it done then in like the next month or something? <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, we're aiming to be done within like a month or so. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll. The big one I want to submit to is the Toronto Film Festival. Okay. Yes. Which, what's the cutoff for that? February. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's tough is we might not be able to show Suki until we submit because they want exclusivity. Uh, yeah, but February is not that far away. Yeah, so it's not, it's not terrible. But yeah, yeah. When did you raise the buddy? When? Uh, what month? It's like June, was it? Yeah, it was, it was like June. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So six, eight months. Dope. Went very over. Just want the folks out there to know uh, the budget doubled. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. I guess I yeah. put in a lot of money too. You Not did. a lot of money. You, you put executive producer. Yeah, EP baby. EP EP. There's credit. another acronym. EP extraordinary person. Extraordinary person. That's what we're crediting you as. Yeah, extraordinary person. Because that's what I am, baby. Cody Corbin. Should we? <laughs> Should we f- like Jim Jim Jimmels? Jim Jim Jimmels. Should we butcher your your name in the, <laughs> as the EP? Are you gonna put this shit on IMDb? Yeah. You know what's crazy about IMDb? I always thought like like agents and shit had to go in there and like fuck with everything so that everything's like accurate. No, you just pay and you can make your own page. You make your say own whatever shit. the fuck yeah. you want. Yep. Yeah. Like you can make yourself look like a like a big shot. Yeah. For five bucks a month or something. <laughs> I signed up, changed all my shit, and then canceled my membership. And I got a month free trial, so it was free to do all that Just shit. Do all that, yeah. yeah. Did you put like you know Twenty One Jump Street, <laughs> all Zac Efron films? That was there. Year. Will be blood. Yeah. I was in The Shining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I directed The Shining. Stanley Kubrick. That's my alias. I... <laughs> Stanley Kubrick and Jim Jim Jimmel is my news alias. My... Um, yeah, dude, I'm excited. It, the problem though for me is like working on traditional shit is like it's not funny like yeah it's very not yeah comedic it's yeah. so like artsy and yeah so I think next round I definitely want to hire an editor and, and just get cuts and be like yeah this is great this is not great really yeah yeah but who knows I think next short will be uh, will be the open board do it yeah cast yeah. me in that shit yeah no that one I mean we've already talked about what that's gonna look like yeah. Stay tuned, everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, Speaking of things to stay tuned for, <laughs> uh, TMG mixtape well underway. Well underway. Uh, we need cover art for it, though. Yes, we do. And I we discussed it a little bit, but um, if you want to, let's just discuss art actually in general because yeah. now we got we hired someone to make the design for the poster. So, like you know, for all the people that are contributing fifteen dollars or more on the Patreon, we said you'd get a poster. A free poster and a titty meat pen. So we're getting that designed right now. We paid this guy to make the design, and uh, it, um, we're, I don't do, we're, they, we're still we're still reviewing. Still we're, reviewing. <laughs> okay, we're still reviewing. So we're reviewing if, it. If you are an artist, um, and you want to have some ideas, have some ideas. We want to do something cool and animated. That's yes. what we want to do. Yes. Yes. And so if you are an artist and you have an idea for what you, the poster, what you think the poster should look like or whatever, then uh, you know hit us up on the. Oh, by the way, we have a Twitter now. It's yes. at Tiny Meat Gang. At Tiny Meat Gang. Uh, shout out to Olivia for relinquishing that. <laughs> I know it was a struggle for you. I know it really, really pained you to let that one go. So I'm glad that we have that. Yes. And so we have an official Tiny Meat Gang Twitter now. So, you know, hit us up on the Twitter. Did you put the DMs open? Uh, no, I should make those open. Okay. Yeah. And tell us if you got to pitch us. I was like, you know, I realize now when I say shit on the on the podcast I'm like I want to do this 
Yeah. Like if there's anyone that can do this, you know, I was like, oh, I want to intern or whatever. People would send me DMs. It's like, I want to intern for you. And I'd read them and be like, that's cool. But I'm not getting like, I don't really have enough time to reach back out and go, okay, like what are your things? Right. If you apply to something, just get everything up front. Yes. Pitch the idea and the concept and like samples of your work. All of it. All the way. And we'll pay you. That's what I'm saying. Yes. We're not asking you to do this for free. I mean, if you want to do it for free, Cause, cause sure. We've, we've had, we've had a few attempts at the tiny meat gang art. And uh, we're just not in love with what we've received. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So then we need that. So the posters are coming. The posters actually will probably be sent out in the new year because December, I'm going to be gone almost all of December. Yes. And um, we're going to do the 10 hour sprint episode. Yeah. We got to fucking, I, we just, I realized yesterday I'm like at the gym, I was working out and I was just like, I have to, we have to do so much shit this month. Yep. Cause now we commit to a bonus episode every month as well. Which is... So I'm going to be week. gone for three weeks. That's going to be next week. Yeah. Yes. Next week, the bonus episode will be for all our Patreon uh, contributors. Next month, I'm going to be gone for three weeks. Um, I'm going to Miami, and then I'm going to Israel. And then um, I'm going to Calgary, and then I'm going to Montana, and then I'm going back to Calgary, and then I'm coming back to LA. Dude, you're so cool. I'm a jet setter, baby. <laughs> a little bit of a jet setter. Chart topper jet setter, baby. You can say both. Yep. Meanwhile, I will be... CTJS. Quite. Try it again. <laughs> Try it again. CTJS. Little, that's a little bit of a ring to it. Maybe one more time. CTJS. CTJS. <laughs> Let me get some air horns here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Hey. Chart top jet setter, baby. Top, top jet setter. No, I'm just saying that because I'm going to be like, you know, I just realized that I'm going to, like, I was like, well, fuck, I'm going to be on the whole month. We have three episodes that we yeah. got to do. Mm -hmm. So I think what we're going to do is we'll probably, we'll be at 7,500 by then. So we'll have to do the two hour episode. We will. We might even be at 10 by then. Well, maybe, probably not. But yeah. what we should do is just get drunk, high. Like we'll do one hour normally. Yes. Second hour, we'll take a little break. Second hour, we'll start drinking, we'll start smoking, whatever. And then third hour, maybe we'll just get, we'll just be a blasted episode. And then right. we'll do two, two of those sessions. We'll be complete. Six hours each. Oh my goodness. Oh. Not, not in one night. Oh. Two separate nights. Saturday, okay. Sunday. Two, two, two separate. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Um, what the fuck was I going to say? Something real funny and important probably. <laughs> yeah. It was so funny and important. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, that's what it is. We're trying to get to 7,500 so we can do the two-hour episode for Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. So. Tell, tell your fucking friends. Tell your friends. Tell your folks. So you have two hours of fucking money. Dirty, smelly content. Dirty, smelly, stinky, stinky, ew, Ooh. stinky content. Stinky like a million. Yeah. Oh, a million dollars must smell like shit. Yeah. I'm thinking about it again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, smelly. Just so smelly. smelly, smelly content. Yeah. We want to do that two hour episode for Thanksgiving, which maybe need to do it on thing. Cook a meal mm. and eat me eat stuffing. Actually, here, this is what something we can talk about. So yesterday, uh, we're eating. Kelsey and I were eating. Right. Okay. There's a change. There's a change. Yeah. We're eating for yeah. once. Mm. I'm always just eating. Always eating. And um we realized it's November first, which means salt and straw has new flavors. They have monthly flavors, right? Uh. Last month was fucking all Halloween themed, so they had a blood pudding flavored Ugh. thing. They had like really just they had a they had a flavor with with bugs in it. Okay. With actual bugs. We're all right. It just wasn't wasn't really digging it. Yeah. This time they had fucking mashed potatoes and gravy as a flavor. Really good. No, it was fucking ridiculously good. Like real fucking potatoes. I didn't I don't understand how that's good. Um sweet potato casserole, which was amazing. That's the one I got. Um so, uh, salted caramel and turkey and they had caramelized turkey skin in the ice cream no dude it was bomb I'd have to I'd have to try it Un Super under bomb. duress what's duress what does that mean like a police officer holding it to my face oh, okay like, eat this shit yeah, yeah. going to prison for a thousand I'm molly pills <laughs> I'm like, okay okay I'm gonna bite this now. I'm telling you man it was fucking good ah gross it was super good okay all right um, mm -hmm. And then I forget what the other ones were, but they were just as, it, um, I forget, some weird food I've never heard of, but. Thanks, dude, Thanksgiving. Um, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know, man. I don't think the food's that good. 
Are you fucking kidding me? It's whatever to me. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm so offended right now. Number one way to offend a uh, white person is fuck Thanksgiving. Oh, 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 What? <laughs> you don't, you get together with the family, you watch the football, you eat some pumpkin pie, you eat some stuffing, you watch the football, you're with the family, and you watch football. What's not to love? <laughs> I don't know, man. Turkey, turkey's kind of whatever. Eating the sweet potatoes, eating mashed potatoes, eating the turkey, watching football, you fuck the turkey, you're eating the sweet potatoes, <laughs> Wait, and you got the pumpkin pie, what? What was that n- number five? Stuffing. Mm, the other one. Yeah, you stuff the turkey. Oh, got it. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you it. eat, right, you eat stuffing, you stuff the stuffing inside the turkey, right, you eat the pumpkin pie, you fuck the turkey, you yeah. eat the sweet potatoes. Yeah. Good shit, man. Thanksgiving's great. I mean, yeah. It's, it's cool. It's cool. I just don't think we need that many hours around family. <laughs> yeah, it's like 12 or 14 hours. What about four? That's too much for you? Yeah, it's a little... All right, I got, I got some things I can do. <laughs> I'm going to head back. I mean, that's more just sad. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. That's more just sad. I don't know. I don't know. It's just more says says more about your family. Than, no, it's, than it's like a... It could be, you know, a wonderful thing. I'm just like a, a workaholic. I don't know. Maybe yeah. I'm impatient or ADD, but it's just like after... Like, ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, no, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm the same way. Okay, let's let's uh, let's, we've talked about enough uh, yep. shit. Yep. Let's get out of here. <laughs> but this Thanksgiving will be different because we're gonna make a big old meal. We're gonna sit down. And we're gonna record a two-hour episode. Yeah. Marcus might even be in it. Yeah, wearing wearing turkey hats, one of those goofy like head cozies. Super offensive. Oh, one of those. Yeah. Yeah, wearing like pilgrim costumes. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be a Native American. Ha ha ha. I love those pictures of Thanksgiving, like it was like this friendly, like, oh, the Indian I know, like born. growing up, yeah. it's always like we do the Thanksgiving plays where we like act it out. It's like, oh, no, 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 this is not really how it went down. Thanks for the corn, whispering wolf. <laughs> Give us your fucking land. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> here, here, have some alcohol, it'll make it go down better. Yes. Oh, Lord. Yeah. All right. On that note, we should probably wrap it up. Yeah, we should. Um, yeah, guys, you you know what the deal is. Follow the Twitter, Tiny Meat Gang. Tell your friends about it. We want to get to seventy five hundred. The seventy five hundo. And uh, love you guys all. If you're if you are uh, if you've contributed. Yeah. That's we're talking to you this week. Yeah. And if you're watching on iTunes, it means it's a, it's been a week already. Yeah. And what are you doing? Listening yeah. for free. Come on, jo- join the fun. Join the fun. Join the We're fun. having a lot of fun here in the community section. A lot of fun. I, I think some good shit. Did you see the person? I made like an iPhone wallpaper. Yeah. And some person replaced the meat in the middle with like vegetarian <laughs> beef or something. He was like, here's one for all the vegetarians. I haven't had a chance to live. The past few days I've been fucking up to my ears and work. Oh, word. Yeah. Um, it's funny, dude. No, I'm going to go check it out. Yeah. I liked uh, I liked Siva's fucking meme. Yeah, yeah. That shit was funny. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> working on the soundboard. I'm going to say... The public posts should be private now. Yeah? I'm saying. Okay. Patreon. Well, I just like, I do that to give the people that get to the Patreon a little taste of the community. You know, because we got a good little community in there. We do. I've never seen a Patreon as like active as this one is. That's true. Yeah. Like nobody gets like the amount of likes and comments and shit. And that's what it's about. It's just making sure that this is like as much of... (laughs) (laughs) I keep clicking that to like cue it up and it plays right away. Yeah. (laughs) It's just... Let's do it again. Um, no, but this is about you guys, and uh, you know the way I feel is. Yes. No, it is. I, I'm I'm liking the the. I'm pissed. We can't post ourselves. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Oh, uh, final thing, we figured out the thing with the video playback. We. Oh right, yeah. We, we sent a nasty that. email to Patreon. A real sternly worded sternly email. Worded. There, this starts at the top. <laughs> and they knew. So yep. they, they, they actually took it to their engineering team, which mm-hmm. is fucking dope. Mm-hmm. So. And uh, I know now it's in some fucking, Ticket. somewhere in the pipeline, it's just all the way, it's like third quarter of next year, they have that slated to fix the fucking video embed issue. <laughs> so we have some, we have some ideas how we're going to fix it, but it's going to take a little while. Yeah, so take- literally all you got to do is just go to Patreon on Safari mm-hmm. instead of going on the app yep. and you, you can watch the video. Yes. That's that's the that's what you got to do. So, 
There you go, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next week twice. Twice, yeah. The bonus episode will be next week. Wednesday. Wednesday and, and Friday. Friday. Wednesday and Friday next week. Um, so uh, we'll see you guys then. Bang, and bang, boogie. Bang, bang, boogie. This is Jim Jim Jimmel signing off. This is Dick Dastardly signing off. I'm gay. <laughs> Never fails. Tiny Meat.